Okay, um, hello everybody. Hello everybody. Well, we're live, we're live and direct. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We are streaming, we're trying to stream on multiple platforms. Uh, and I say I know go school, so all of these things, I'm just learning it. Uh, not like my sister here, who is a pro, but she was telling me some things I need to do. I tell her, I say, one day we'll get to that level. But for now, please forgive me for the one I didn't do well. But it's my pleasure, it's my honor to have in the studio today um, someone that um, knows a lot more, more than all of us. But um, today we'll, we'll, we'll get to see some things. I'm talking about Evangelist Bisola Hefziba Johnson. I hope I got it correctly. That's Evangelist. right. You get it right, sir. Okay. Huh? <laughs> okay so but i'll just i'll just leave it at bisola um please everybody go ahead and share the video we can see that bisola is trying to share the video yeah, so go yeah. ahead yeah it's very very important yeah take out time and make sure that you share the video you have to share it because of what is happening right now we know the issue we're about to discuss is an issue that is hot on the on on the um uh, on the burner, it's, it's hot right now. So, and a lot of people don't want to touch it. They don't want to touch it because I don't know why. They don't have the balls to do that. They don't have the they don't have the heart to do it. But you see, speaking the truth is not easy. But we have to keep speaking the truth because the Bible says that ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Um, hold on. I'm hearing that the people on YouTube are not live. Give us one second here. Uh, we're gonna make the people on YouTube go live. Guys, just give us a minute. <laughs> give us a minute to connect <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> What are give me? Uh, okay, okay, now we are on YouTube. Uh, Bissola. You need to turn down the volume of there's something that was causing the echo. Maybe I'll stop. But we are live right now on YouTube, and those of you on uh, on uh, Facebook, you got the extra, but it's okay. <laughs> now we are live everywhere, and we've been sharing. I think we've shared enough now. Let's get down to business. All right, my sister, thank you so much for being on our show. I'd like to open thank with a you. word of prayer. Um, because we are really speaking to, to our, uh, our, our own people and to everybody else. So I'm gonna, don't laugh at my hair because my hair don't scatter like Nigeria, but I'm going to still respect God and uh, pray without my heart. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gathering. Holy Spirit, we ask that you come and take absolute control this is not something that I take for granted. This is very, very serious for me and um, for our sister. I ask that you direct our deliberations, take away what is, what is um, not useful to our discussion. Take away what is intended to be malicious. Take away what will come from our, our, our human flesh. Just make everything the way you want it to be. Put the words in our mouth. Convey the message to your people the way you want it to be conveyed. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. 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 Okay, the reason, I, the reason I, I pray this prayer is because I want us to hold ourselves accountable. I want to hold you accountable. I want to hold myself accountable. We've just lost uh, T.B. Joshua, who I 
regard as a child of God, like every one of us, and whom his death is a big loss to his family. Uh, the Bible says you should um, rejoice with people who rejoice and you should mourn with people who mourn. So I want to join the um, uh, the uh, synagogue uh, ministry. I forgot how they call it. But I want to join them in mourning the death of their leader, T.B. Joshua. I want to sympathize with his family and everybody who is directly connected with him who will be feeling the pain of his loss. Now, having said that, uh, we in the past have treated the issue of TB Joshua. We've put out so many things out there. I have interviewed our sister concerning TB Joshua before. And why I'm saying this is a lot of you will think, oh, because TB Joshua died and everybody's talking about him, we are just coming to talk about it. No, 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 no. We don't dare for this talk. Back, back, back. We faced threats. We faced all kinds of threats because of it. Our sister that is our guest today, who I'm going to let to talk, I'm going to allow to talk very soon. She has suffered so much because of the revelations that she has given in the past. We have had so many thoughts. There was a, there was a time, I don't know if I should talk about it, but I guess I can talk about it. There was the time, it was so terrible that she had to contact me from her hiding location, we were trying everything to extract her, literally just extract her from Nigeria because her life was under threat. It's still under threat now as I speak to you, but you'll hear about all of that. So just to lay the background, to let you put know, and this is not just, thing we're, just something we're doing now. We've been doing it and we feel that even right now, it is very, very important that we continue to speak up for the sake of other people, for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the kingdom of God. Now I've spoken too much. Our sister evangelist Bisola, let me start by asking you to please um, tell us who you are and tell us the position you occupied in the ministry of uh, TB Joshua uh, long before now. Thank you very much. Um, it's nice to be on your platform. Um, I want to say something, and I'm not saying it maliciously, but I'm saying it according to the conviction of my heart. I am not mourning with the synagogue, and I am not mourning with his family. There are a lot of people that this man has sent to the early grave. I don't know how many people mourn with those families. Hold on, hold on, Bisola. There's a device that you need to reduce the volume because it's maybe on your phone or somewhere else you're monitoring. Go okay. ahead. Now. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Now. Go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, as I, I be that as it may, um we are not saying that we are wishing somebody a death wish a lot of people that are close to me knows me even when some people are cursing abdul fatai balogunwali as tb joshua i usually don't say amen something is still coming up yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you. Okay, maybe I should low my yeah, yeah low the volume on Can one you hear me now? Yes, yeah. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, let's do it like I can this. Hear you. Right. I don't need to hear myself, but I can hear you. Okay. So um what was I saying? That I if people family. around me cursing, I don't usually say amen because I stand as a child of God, as minister of the gospel, to be bound to the word of God. The, no matter how hard, it is very hard if God, if Jesus is telling me that you forgive my enemies, it is very hard for me. But 
be that as it may, I will do it because I am under instruction and commandment. So if they, they curse him, I don't say amen because I'm bound to the word of God that says, bless those who curse you. It is the will of God for everyone to be saved and know the truth. So in my own privacy, I've prayed for him many times, even though I know he is devious and he continues to be devious. He has this uh, uh, face, face, outward facade, that when you see the face, you don't know he can do evil. But we that have once lived with him, that is one of my sister on, on, on the platform now, that she started co uh, uh, commenting. You know, she can bear me witness. There was a day this sister ran every curses on this guy, Fatai, alias TV Joshua, on my YouTube. And I felt a pain. You understand? Because she was she was in a in a, when she was a teenager, Fatai will have taken her virginity. Uh, people are saying that uh, that uh, your voice is echoing, so I, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know. I have off all the things that I need to off here. No, see, uh, you can off your phone. Off us on your okay. phone completely. Okay, well, completely. Yeah. All right. Okay. I have off this one. About, sorry, I'm not going to hop this because it's the data we are using. Okay. But it's not connected to any social media. And I think uh, we are having peace now. I'm not hearing any feedback. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Okay. So, okay, she's saying that she was 15. It was her turn. Before I get there, when I was on broadcast on Sunday, a girl sent a message, open message, and I've asked her to contact me. She said there was a time in the synagogue they, they did screening. When they do screening, that means they are looking for something, okay? At this time when they did screening, they were looking for virgins. Hmm. And she was a virgin with her sister. So they picked them and they asked them to bring in their father, who will officially hand them over to the the synagogue uh, authority to Fatai because it's, everything is all about him. It's not about God. That is why after he died, there was no service in the synagogue yesterday. If it's ministry of God, it's not limited to one person, right? So when he, he, he told, she told me, she said, she, she sent the message. She said when their father came, I told their father that their father should not release them. And that was how they didn't become TB Joshua's disciples. If they had become, they would have become one of them. You understand? So this, my sister, it was a turn to go to TB Joshua's bedroom that night. Hmm. All right? Yes. If it's your turn, they call you. You know, TB Joshua keeps a rev, a rev of different classes of women. And that is why our fight or our movement on freedom to the captive cannot end with TB Joshua's death. Because there are still more ground to cover. A girl is with me now who joined the synagogue very early in life. 
She eventually spent 26 years in the synagogue. She came out before Fatai died, empty-handed. She lived, practically living there without, without friends. Now she's out. She has no bearing, no direction. She's hold on, me hold, now. hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, you know the question, the question I want to ask you before you go further is this. I want you to explain to us who you were in that ministry. We want to locate you and I want people to understand who you were, what was your role, how close were you to T.B. Joshua? Could you just explain that to us? I want to lay that foundation. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. When I was at the synagogue, I joined the synagogue in my 20s. I was, um, I was um, a banker when I had some issues. And uh, I was introduced to the synagogue. Uh, that uh, when you get there, you know, everything will be all right. And because we too, we are coming from certain background that is not rooted in Christ. When we got there, we were taken, blown away by what we, we saw. You know, uh, adulterous generation seek after signs and wonders. And what we saw was really signs and wonders. I remember I saw something, I was shedding tears. And I was saying to myself that this is where all my problems will be solved. When I got there, I was emotionally injured. You understand? And psychologically, or, or, or uh, how would I call it, uh, spiritually unfit and emotionally injured. And this is the point where many people are when they get to the synagogue. And when I got there, if you don't have any solution for me, you, you should have asked me to go instead of you to take advantage of my situation. So when I saw what I saw, I, I, was, I was deceived. And uh, by the time I met with him, he told me that God wants to use me. I don't know why he saw in me. And he said, God wants to use me. You know, at that time, I've had uh, my share of living in the world. You understand? I've had as a young girl. All right? So I just thought, well, what the end? Okay. Let's let's give it a shot. And uh, you know, when I got there, I saw that. See, when you get to the synagogue, if you are on this pedestrian, when you get to the synagogue, your pedestrian has to come down, okay, to the level of Fatai, you can be Joshua, and the level of what he operates there. Uh, when I got there, you know, so they may see my videos, you know, and uh, he said, God wants to use me. And then I said, okay, fine. And uh, that was how I started the journey. But when, when I got there, it was not as if I was under training. Maybe you have a speaker there that is feeding back. I don't know. I, I... I actually turned off my own microphone when you're talking here. So I don't know what is happening. I I don't know. The, it, so what's happening? Is it still echoing? I'm off my phone. Yeah, let me let me see what's going. Let me listen to, to it from because this is important to us. It's okay. It's 
It's okay now. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Let's just continue. So um, he said, God wants to use me. And I get in, I say, well, let's give it a shirt. And uh, because I do not spiritually, I didn't know my my right from my left. And um, when I got there, it's not that we were trained by Blickali, but I saw that we were uh, we were used as workforce. Go ahead, continue, please continue. Yes, we were used as workforce. So when I got there, because everyone has class, maybe he sized me and he saw that uh, I cannot be thrown into the uh, general workforce we are the you know they are just uh, walking around so he sent me to the studio okay he sent me to the studio and he invited me into his room and said he has made me the leader of the studio that I will be representing him there. Studio uh, was the the height of his, you know, of his ministry because that's where he keeps his uh, uh, laurels and and you know and honors. So um, when I got there, he said. If anyone misbehave, I should report them. And that was how I took charge of the synagogue church studio. I met some people there, like Mr. Shegun KK, um, Ogesue, and uh, Lucky Ogesue, who are, these people are cameramen, but the chief editing uh, video editor was Shegun. So I sat very close to Shegun and I learned about video editing. All right. Then I, I, I don't know, possibly because of the way I pronounce things, you know, I'm not perfect, but in the synagogue at the time, it's like I was the, you know, uh, the best of them all. You understand? You know, in the in the kingdom of one eye, you know, or in the kingdom of blind, one eye is the, you understand? <laughs> so, you know, I'm being humble, you understand? So, you know, he thought maybe because many of them are so local, and because I was coming from a background of you know, starting class, so he said I should be running voiceover on the on all the videos that were coming out you understand uh because uh, i newly got in i came in with all my confidence okay and when i got there because i had background of a bank banking industry so i and because i saw that it was so much into um studio uh, to keep uh, to keep up with all his video cassettes. I advised him. I said, do you know that they can steal your videos? Uh, somebody who doesn't like you can put on fire in this. So why can't we make masters of your videos and take them and keep them in the bank? Even if you lose this, the masters are wow it's like where have you been all my life so this time i have not really immersed with the system you know i was still new and uh, i was given certain privileges so then they call a man mr rotini he worked with first bank at the time he had retired now Okay, someone is saying both of us should use headset. Just go ahead. Just go on. Just go on. Okay, if you want me to use headset, I can use. Okay, try and use a headset. Let's see. Okay. 
Um, sorry, one minute. Let me just unwind it. It's been a while I used it. Uh, Man, if it makes it better, well, good. You say? I said, go ahead. If it makes it better, then we'll Okay. Uh, all right. So that there is not... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? Uh, You're, you're muted. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Not very well. Not very well. Check. Uh -huh. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Fantastic. Fantastic. I need people to comment. Can you guys hear her? Is, the, okay. is it better now? Yes. So let's hear from people. Please, uh, are you? Okay. Is it better now? Can you guys still hear the echo? Please or tell us if the audio is good now. If there is no echo now, okay. They said yes, better. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much for being with us. <laughs> so thanks to the guy. I was even going to ignore him, but thank you so much for for telling us what oh, to do. Oh, someone said hundred percent. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Biola. Thank you, Good. Mr. Ernest. The who was the guy? The guy who suggested the headpiece. I think we should thank him. <laughs> yes, very much. Let me see. Uh, that's Mr. Ernest. Okay. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Thank you, thank Mr. You. Ernest. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, where was I? Uh, okay, there's still some things. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, technology, you know, it, that's just the way they are. Uh, should, I, just... should I also put my own headpiece? Uh, well, maybe. <laughs> okay, let me try. Uh, if you... Sometimes me... you, you want to look tush. You don't want to put on your earpiece. Yeah. Is or... it okay now? I will still hearing the echo. I will still hearing the echo on, on YouTube. Can you, can you check on YouTube? Because, because you're okay. You're okay now. Okay, let's let's go down. Let's go on then. Okay, they said no echo. It's, All right. Exactly. But just continue. Just continue, please. So as I was saying, um, we we continue this journey, and um, yeah, we continue the journey. <sighs> I don't know, something is cracking here. I don't know why. Oh. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we continue the journey. <laughs> there is still coming, but let's go. Then um, they call Mr. Uh, uh, that's Mr. Rotimi. Uh, Mr. Rotimi worked with First Bank, but now he's retired. And uh, he himself has a lot of story to tell because he had to, after leaving synagogue, it was uh, <laughs> wrong for your, for, your, for your life. That's what took him to MFM. And uh, they put the masters. I was the one that prepared the master. At this time, he was trusting me so much. He doesn't even want anybody to touch anything anymore. So then he started giving Mr. Shegun our time. And that time, I think that was the time he's supposed to set on, on, on us. That's so there's problem. At that time, Mr. Shegun's wife uh, got pregnant and had baby. And the problem... Uh, that was Mr. Shegun's uh, woes. That why should your wife get pregnant? We're supposed to look and say, hello, what's your business? But we two, we were just looking. And that was what took Shegun out of the synagogue. And I had to sit on Shegun's seat as the chief 
video editor, voice over artist, graphics, graphics artist, and uh, I was also called in to be uh, to be coordinating visitors. At that time, video. Yes, yes. Okay. At that time, thank you, David. At that time, studio was the only place that is conducive for people to sit. Apart from his bedroom, of course, visitors cannot go to his bedroom. So it's only in his bedroom. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you say when you say bedroom, I I I kind of confused. Like his bedroom, bedroom where he sleeps. Bedroom where he sleeps so okay. that place was the only place that has ac air conditioner and also the studio he has no uh, office for wait a uh, waiting room for visitors so when visitors come rich rich people of course if uh, people come from, people visit him for consultation uh they have uh, this large place open place that they they sit but there are some people in the society when they come you know they cannot sit there so uh if they have to come to the studio you understand i make space for them so the moment these visitors come they say call me you know desola he first started calling me desola later if you can remember to ask me why he would call me desola i will tell you before he, he, he you know he started calling me my real name so tell me why he calls me desola now so okay there is a small girl of about 11 years called desola ojoloye and another girl called uh, something Mohammed, Binta Mohammed. These two girls, they sleep in his room. Yes. Yes. They sleep in his room, in his bedroom. Uh, usually uh, in the night. You will see some girls waiting in front of his office. He normally called them in. I don't know the why at the time I joined until I was initiated into it. So he will be calling them one by one. But he will get to a point that he will just instruct his boys, call me Desola and Binta. The moment he say call me Desola and Binta, everybody knows that those two girls are his night cab nobody goes in again if eventually maybe something happened that he, maybe in the middle of the night that he said call me somebody you will see those girls they will be rubbing his body with uh, dusting powder rubbing his body massaging his body little girls so when I got in as Bisola, he missed the two. You know, I think Desola was too much in his head. You know, at that time, Evelyn, his supposed wife, is no, is no, she was not living in the synagogue with the only daughter they had then. So, uh, sorry, sorry. So, where was the wife? living at this time where was the wife sleeping at this time i'm talking the wife was living with a he was living in a in one of the members house the member's name was lawyer if you google his name he's a big man he was a big man in nigeria a lawyer he has a, a house somewhere in uh, Ikeja, around Okwebi, very close to Moshu Dabiola's uh, uh, primary nursery school. It was sheer pity that this member took in this lady. 
because at that time fatai tb joshua was not interested in her he even told we the disciples at the time that he he he, he, he was shocked when evelyn told him that she 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 became pregnant he doesn't know how evelyn got pregnant Later in years, yes. Evelyn told me that he, she only went to see Fatai through a friend called Peace because she got to a point in life that she was confused. So when she met Fatai, Fatai told her that you are my wife. And that was how they started sleeping together. No marriage. Quote me anywhere. I have challenged him not in the mosque not in the church not in family settle okay so when i started talking they you know even evelyn used her own money to buy a wedding ring because it became a shame at a time you understand for herself so when visitors come he say call me desola then i will go to his office from the studio then i will I will lead the visitors into the studio, sit them down, give them drinks, and, you know, comfortable under AC. Then I will be showing them videos of, you know, those false miracles. Sorry. So, sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. Um, you were the video editor, and I knew that thing. you were in charge of the whole department. I just mentioned something here. He said, when they do those fake miracles, just give us a little, explain a little bit, even if it is one of them, how these miracles were done and recorded, and then what we saw. Can you just give us a little bit about it? Yes, because I was uh, a yeah. uh, yeah. studio manager, when cameramen are going out, going out. I issue out batteries and all the things they need for them. Because it's like, you know, I was in charge. And because, you know, power intoxicates, you understand? So it's like I am the only trusted. Every other person, they are thief. You understand? So, uh, and whatever I tell him is just it. So when they are going out, maybe we are in the studio. If any case come in, you know, there are different departments. Some people are at the gates where uh, they will be the one that will first meet with the sick people that visit synagogue. So when, they, when that happens, they will call studio that bring camera. So if I choose... I will go with the camera crew, you know. I that I didn't know, I didn't come from any media background. I will start directing them that this is how you stand. You know, over time, I became, a, you know, pro, guru. This is how you stand to get it. And a small saw can be blown open in the ca on, on camera. You understand? It depends on your position. So when we take it, we will now with the, the other department, we will take it to show Fatai in his office. We will play it to show Fatai in the office. So Fatai will see it and, and say, okay, arrange the person at the emergency or no. Many a times when these people with sore leg, I'm using example come they don't first arrange them at the emergency sometimes mrs igeoju will be invited as a nurse medical department to check what is it about and um, that person will go through medical assessment in the synagogue and while doing the medical assessment, you will see that 
synagogues are too good to offer somebody who come for eating food and drinks while you are taking your drink you are drinking drugs for speedy recovery okay so then uh, after this person will be arranged at the emergency this saw or this leg ulcer or hand ulcer or body ulcer may take two years or one year to heal it depends some may take six months but when because the, it, there is inflow of people you understand somebody that come today maybe is healing in six months within that time other people come within that time there will be healing you know uh, you understand healing of wounds so um i will now take they have to come because those people at the gate they normally monitor them to their homes you understand with money being disbursed and when people are receiving money there is loyalty you understand so when they come back to show that the, you know they have the leg is totally healed there is they will also be coming to collect water you understand so it's not about in jesus name you are in jesus name you are healed they also collect water you understand you know in normally so of course you collect all these kind of uh, elements so we don't you know is it the water or you know the jesus or this or the drugs so when they come back finally that you know sorry that, i'll be interrupting yeah. you from time to time you say she's are you saying jesus are you saying jesus the guy says jesus i you know sometimes he doesn't even say jesus we have to go and look on editing table i have to go and look into archive to see where he has said jesus or is jesus then i will cut it i will add it to another thing that he has said wow yes so then i will now take this video we, they will camera the after i will take it to the studio then i will I, just the way, the same way that the screen is splitted into two i will put the before and the after then i will run voiceover on it that hey look at it you know after two days it depends on my mood it could be after one week you understand so the, i was also part of the scam yeah they say he that comes to equity must come with uh, clean hands either knowingly or unknowingly either i was used but i was also part of it you understand you know so, why you see let me tell you something um we all had and, and that's what christianity is all about we all had our shortcomings we all have our past we all have things that we have done okay but the problem is when you do not accept your wrongs the bible wants us to confess our sins accept that we are right and then obtain forgiveness and he that his sins are forgiven they are already forgiven nobody can do anything about it okay nobody can accuse you so they are in your past they are in your past the important thing is your ability to come and speak the truth you could have come here now and said no i was not involved that but you are saying exactly how it is and this is why it is important i need people to understand this is not just sensation this is not gossip this is real fact and you know sometimes bisola we will look at this we're intelligent like we're intelligent we'll look at these things me i'm a, I'm a professional video editor i i do movie movie editing for even you know, on a, on a very high level. We we'll look at something and we we'll say, come, there is something that is not adding up in this thing. Sometimes we'll say, ah, look at the person's clothes. Look at the hair. That it, it took some time, but nobody will be willing to hear what we are saying. But you, that you have said it now, now it makes sense because you will see that, oh, and, and you, the funny thing is that you will have time to even do a story on the person, 
go to the person's home, show when the person is coming into the synagogue. How could you have picked that person when they are coming in, when you didn't know? So I knew you had to go and act it again. <laughs> you have to go, take the person back, see the person just come in, and then edit it, then see when they uh, picked up, then they'll go home, and now you have revealed. They will just go home, and you have, even have a medical team. Sometimes it's just a simple wood, but because the person didn't have money to treat the ulcer, they give them antibiotics, they just heal. And when they just heal, then they come back to thank God, and then they will be picked out of the crowd, of course. And then they will come and they say, he healed, and then you do your voiceover, and you say two days, and people start clapping. So that's why it is important that we're bringing out this, this part. Continue, my sister. Yes. So, you know, uh, uh, let me take another example from maybe going to um, overseas trip for crusade. Why do people ask yourself, why do people need to be screened? It's because you are not, uh, you are not uh, opening up to people that uh, you, are, you are positioning yourself as a god. If sick people come, you are not the healer. The instruction is pray. If they do not heal, well, it's not, it's not on you. But because you want it to be on you, that is why you need to screen those people that will come into the hall. You understand? So that by force, you will make sure that people, you know, someone is saying she wants to call him, but maybe when we are done to start Yeah, much from... later, please. I, I need, yes. It's important to hear these things. And, so, and just quickly, just quickly, I don't want you to forget. We would love to hear what is it. I know you've, you've talked about this before, but it's important that we hear now why a lot of celebrities will come and, and speak in the synagogue and it will be videoed. I need people to understand what goes on behind the scene that makes them come and do all those confessions and it is recorded and it is made to look like what it is not. I don't want you to forget. You have to tell us about that one much later. Go okay. Ahead. So, it, it, like for instance, you know, there was a time we traveled to Singapore and we had to do screening. And uh, basically, people that were on this wheelchair were not crippled before God, before man. Fatah is late now. And I've been saying it, I've been saying it since 2008. I'm not one of the hustlers. On, on, uh, some people, they will call me. Some uh, uh, content creator, they will call me. Hear my information and they will go on here. Some people say you heard that Fatai died in the night of that day. And you didn't quickly break it and go on. And I said, no, I'm not hustling. You understand? So, you know, it's just, uh, it's just a burden for me to tell people the truth. All right. So when we're there, we do some screening and it's like, what? no, I mean, it's those people who has back pain, uh, lower back pain, you know, those who are using uh, uh, walking aids that we have to tell them because we too have been brainwashed that we are if that god is crippled we need to help god yes we have been brainwashed that we need to help god you understand so so we need to uh brainwash these people that see you are having back pain which year will be your end? So it's better you sit on which year so that uh, the uh, Fatai can pray for you and heal you. Or we might even tell them that the service will be long and TB Joshua is not coming on time. So um, so that you not put strain on your on your back more. It's better a seat of wheelchair. So these people, they will be arranged at the front. So when it comes, they are, they, 
there are some yeah. people that work with Fatai. You understand? You know, me, I cannot be me all, all around. Sure. Yes. yes. So there are some people, but even those people, we still lord it over them. We can report them that they didn't do that. You know, it's a loyalty struggle. Sure, 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 sure. You understand? And the more you put yourself in the front, or the more your energy can take you, and say this person they want to spoil job the more fatai trust you and put you in charge of people even those that can do better than you but because you are uh, you know you are some people are quiet you know they do their job but they, they are still not doing anything in front of fatai and you that you are just you know you know you are just uh, you are even getting more richer than them because after service, you know, there's, uh, there's reimbursement. You understand? So when they were seated in, in, in this stadium, Fatai came, you know, just do some preaching that he has lifted on, 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 on the television from Tele Evangelist. Then he now say you want to pray for them. He said they should stand up. After after praying for those in front, you know they can walk. They can walk. You understand? We only you know put them on wheelchair. So when he do his rasmatas and says stand up, and they stood up. People in the stadium they don't know what we arrange there. You understand? They started jubilating. Hey, somebody quickly carried the wheelchair and following them. You know, the testimony is being told and the word is being deceived. Then that day, I remember that day, those that are truly crippled, they were at the back. For time, we never get there. You understand? We never get there. I remember that at the first time you know we left them so that we will have a crowd of wheelchairs you understand if we had known we supposed to have discharged them but we left them we thought maybe we were in nigeria so after that i finished with the four people in front the coordinator of the of the crusade because he said the people were on him he went to Fatai to, to whisper to him that he should please pray for those at the back. That they organized the crusade because of them. Then I remember that Fatai took his microphone and said there's still more work in front. Okay, what I would need to do is that I have given you faith. Stand up from your wheelchair. That day I wept. I saw human being like me because the man said he's giving them faith. So they too, they started, you know, helping themselves and people were falling on the wheelchair on the ground. I wept. Seriously. So, and uh, Fatai just said, okay, my team, start praying for them. Even the organizer, he, he started. Remember that they said the last video Fatai put up was happy birthday to you. Was it, is it me that I'm doing birthday? Is it you? It's supposed to say happy birthday to me. But because that is modus operandi, he always wants to push things on people. You understand? So that it will look as if you, we are all doing birthday in order to involve you. He said, we are the one doing, all of us are doing bad day. Then you two, you become involved in order to put things right, in order to give him money, in order to, you understand, to organize things for him because it's our birthday. It's not my birthday. He understand for cry, crying out sick. So he said, everybody should start praying. Even the organizer of the crusade. Because I don't, Jesus no send me at that time to go there. You understand? So what can I do? You know, those people, there's nothing they could do. 
you know, just yeah. you, you said I should give some uh, examples. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, my my sisters, uh, why I picked on those particular examples, and I, I know you were you were you were telling me about your position in the ministry and how things were working and how you were the chief editor, and then we were talking about how sometimes you people will edit uh, some miracles. That's how we got to start talking about this. But you see, the let me go straight. There are, there are so many things I want to ask you about, but let me go straight to ask what actually broke the camel's back. What 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 happened between you and TB Joshua that made you leave the synagogue? Yeah, in a yeah. summary. Okay, in summary, you know, you, you, I was also um, a visitors coordinator. Yeah, and at that time. If any international calls enter into the synagogue, I was the only one allowed to pick those calls. You understand? So it's like I was all around administrative work, you know, okay, here and there and all that. So it got to a time, it got to a time. I was really immersed, okay? I was really immersed into this. Then it got to a time, I don't know what happened. Okay, it started this way. When uh, white people started coming, Westerners started coming, you know, as their coordinator, I need to, I need to screen them. At the beginning, they were not screened. It's like they were just visitors, okay? Then later, the people said, can we be bringing sick people? He said, okay, that, that, that's what we do here. But unfortunately, they started bringing some. There was one day they brought somebody that she was bent over with, with arms, you know, at the back. Then Fatai said, I should be screening them. So anytime, I then I will now tell them, before you come, send in email. I will reply them. Give me the list of the people coming. What is their condition? Because anytime they come, and they come in, in with big problems, I will be the one that will be in trouble. I will cite one example that... One day, the the protocol officers went to the airport and they, they, to bring in the visitors. So one of the protocol officers, Jimo, she he called it to Fatai and said, "Ah, there is a problem." Then after he has spoken with Fatai, Fatai said they should go and call me. The moment I enter his office, I didn't even know he was hiding behind the door. It was slaps. Bah, 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 bah. I didn't know what I did wrong. So then he said, who asked you? Who give you authority that they should come, you know, with so, so, so. I, I, was, I was upset. Seriously, I was upset. That day I told him I want to go home. He used his finger to mark the ground that if you have two heads, you should pass. You understand? So, you know, I also, I also remember a time a, a, a man was in London, UK. His name is Mr. Vincent. He usually traffic in cocaine. Fata usually pray for those cocaine people. Princess, all of them. Yes. So hold on. Unfortunately hold on. I want to I want to make people realize something. Because a lot of people are come as they're saying, Oh, this lady just popped up. No, I need you to go to her YouTube channel. The problem with us is that a lot of us don't research or you just came to social media newly. You need to Google Evangelist Bisola Health 
Hefziba <laughs> Johnson. You need to Google her. You need to go to her YouTube channel so that you can get this gist. This is somebody I've known for years. I have also interviewed her on my own channel. So why I want to say this is I want you to calm down. Forget what you're thinking and listen. You may learn for the future because what will happen to you tomorrow now? They were telling you the truth. You don't want to listen. Tomorrow you will carry somebody. And listen, we believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. We believe in the healing power of Jesus Christ. We believe that God heals people through his children. Anybody, even you, that listen, you can pray and people will get healed. What we are focusing on is the deceit. When you deceive people, when you don't have that power, when there is no healing happening and you convince them just to uh, trick them and get their money. This was all about money. That's the point we are trying to make. Evangelist, Evangelist Bissola is not the person of today. This thing she started talking about happened Somebody years ago. Worry. Somebody is saying that I've been talking for over three years. No. I've Which been kind of three years? 2008. Which kind of three years? years? Anyways, I just had to it's just that. It's just because truths, you know, don't have large followership. Of course. Truths don't the, have large followership. Exactly. But, but, lies, the, but the good thing about truth, the good thing about truth, I always make fun of it. I say that truth is like bloom bloom. And people will want to correct me and say it's balloon. You can have balloon. My own is bloom bloom. Truth is like bloom bloom. You carry it and enter inside water, swimming pool. You hold it down as long as you like. Oh, one day you will leave it to float to the top, and that is what is happening right now. We have been screaming and saying there is something fishy. There is something you put in. Listen, well, we will continue even after his death because there are so many people like TB Joshua existing right now in Nigeria and still deceiving people. When you hear these stories, it will make you to be able to understand when you see something. Please continue, my sister. And for you to know that this is a burden, and this is uh, this is a burden upon my heart that people should know the truth. See, God has delivered me. If I like, I keep quiet. I told you, sir, Doctor Chidi. I said we have been fasting for for the past seven days. Now today is the seventh day. You know, when you contacted me, I was so weak and tired. It's like I wanted food. But as we get on here you know the energy is just you know is just flowing you understand so and i then, forgot to let i forgot to let people understand that she has a book that she has written do you have your book there you need this person is not a small person you see she has books i have three books i have three, three books okay 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 let me see this uh for TV Joshua, this is the reason why you shouldn't. There are a lot are of reasons lot of there. You should not visit the synagogue. It's not good for you. Okay. Go ahead, please. So, you know, another example, you know. So, uh, that man, Mr. Vincent, after he went to UK, that trip, that time, me, I did not know. He was arrested at uh, uh, UK airports, one of the UK airports. And they had to take him to court. They had to take him to court. So when he called him from UK, because I was the only one that takes international call, the people working in, in Patai's office, they will never touch it. The moment they see it, it will be hearing they will be calling into the studio. And me too, I know. The moment I say is that is that Fata is calling or I have call. So then I picked the call and the man just gave me a message. Uh, where is him? I said he has gone to the old site. He said, please, when he come back, I should tell him, I remember as I remember my name, that October 11 is the day he will appear in court, that he should pray for him. I said, okay. There are other people that called him. So when Fatai came back and somebody told me that he was in the office, I went to the office to deliver message. 
I was giving him updates of all the people that have called. The moment I mentioned Vincent, I thought maybe it was thunder. I was blinded. Every blow of slap. You understand? Oh my God, I couldn't understand myself. Then, you know, I took it, you know, just as disciple. You understand? As, you know, it was a girl that I'm looking, I'm, that girl, her name is Bosse. I'm looking for 150,000 now to give her to go to school. She spent 26 years in the synagogue. She entered there when she was around 11. Now she had, she has nowhere to go to. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sister Bussola. Hold on, Sister Bussola. You said you're looking for how much? 150k. She needs to go to school. 150,000. Okay, yes, please. What's your bank account? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's, um, what's your bank account that people can okay. send money to you? Okay. Okay, let's be let's be talking. Maybe I'll send it. Yes, um, please. Foundation, because we need to write out a check. We don't want to just give money. You understand? Yeah, yeah we need to write a check to the school and no, follow no. up to the school. But but I need the money to be collected by you, your foundation, so that your foundation will now write a check to her. I want your foundation uh, bank, account. bank account. Yes, okay, can you call I'll, it? I'll, Yes, I will call it. Just uh, I'm I'm rebooting my phone so that I will call it. Okay, for okay. Keep talking as soon as you have it. Please just pause and uh, let us know. Okay. So then it was that girl because she pity me. We pity ourselves. You understand? She she was the one that told me that ah, Mr. Vincent is in prison in UK. That is why. In fact, I do not want me to mention that maybe uh, Interpol are monitoring the call. You understand? I said, but I do not know. I didn't know. You know when they arrested Vincent, those people in that carcass of cocaine dealers, they have informed Fatai that ah, they have arrested uh, Vincent. Okay. So, and because he doesn't want, he, he didn't tell us. We don't know. I picked Mr. Vincent's call and I delivered the message. And after that time, after that time, it, it was like a curse. Any of those people that go through Muritala Mohammed airport, they arrest them. Then after they started, uh, uh, they started, uh, Asking them questions, interrogating them, they now fingered Fatai. Hmm. Sometimes they will carry their their package and and bring it to the synagogue. Fatai will take it to his altar on the on the on on where you call prayer mountain. On the night that they're supposed to travel, they will come for final blessings. They will go from Fatai's uh, office straight to the airport. You understand? They believe that when they get there, they will not see them, you know? So they fingered Fatai. That was when they arrested him for cocaine. Those people that doesn't know, he will be saying that, hey, they, they lie on him. They didn't lie on him. You understand? So, you know that's hold on hold. okay so let me uh, there is plenty to talk about and what i will just ask people is to go to your channel please mention your channel again right now because bisola Bisola johnson bisola Ebziba johnson please subscribe every sunday 4 p.m nigerian time we usually have live live program and we have a lot of things to talk about Next Sunday, maybe if I didn't get my guest, I'm thinking of talking about my life in the hands of a demon.
my yeah. travails, my travails in the hands of a demon. But I will I will encourage people to go to your channel and look at this. You see, the funny thing is when we start somebody somebody commented and said, You people have started this nonsense again, Chidi. Don't worry. When we when we did this kind of thing, you know, long ago when we did the uh, uh, Stephanie Otobo story, that time it was not popular to talk about. People say, no, 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 don't talk about men of God. Touch not my anointed. Now they have seen so many things happen after that with the Koza, with so many other people. So now it's not so difficult anymore. Just to show you people that we are not just exposing men of god but men of god they are not they are human beings they are human beings all we are saying is stop deceiving people but i want people to go back to her channel you had her channel bisola fc bar johnson google it on youtube subscribe and see other videos that she has done that video will chronicle the moments that you saw tb joshua in one in one issue or the other and you will see what happened I know you had left the synagogue by the time, and I wish you would use this time to look for that your your bank your bank information. Yes, I I'm really, in it. I'm waiting okay. for you. Okay, good. But I want you to tell us what you know about uh, the building that collapsed in, in the synagogue. I know you had left the synagogue, but you still have your contacts there. You still have people Very that you're good. lawyer. Okay. Even with this bossy. Okay, okay, good. Okay. So tell, tell, us your, tell us your account information. Bisola Johnson Foundation. Bisola Johnson. Johnson Foundation. If you go to my YouTube, you see that I'm a preacher of the gospel and I talk my experience, experiences. Okay. Bis and Bisola? you will see all the, all the things that we have done. You understand? Okay. So, Bisola Johnson Foundation. Um, GTB. GT Bank. GT Bank. GT Bank. Okay. Yes. That's zero five five. Zero five five. Six two. Six two. One six six. One six six. Two zero. Two zero. Okay. Yes. Zero five five six two one six six two zero. Guys, you know what I want us to do? I I, I don't like us to just listen and not do anything. Let's put our money where our 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 mouth is. I need us to donate money to her foundation she needs an immediate she has an immediate need of a hundred and fifty thousand uh dollars i know that i am naira I am naira, naira, <laughs> naira naira <laughs> oh naira. <my> God. <laughs> hold on so that this um, girl can go back to school so yes. that she can be come back to the society she lived in the synagogue for 26 years there are many yes. of them there are many of them. If if they are helped, they can have sanity in order to come and tell their stories. Okay, okay. So please, what I want us to do is to please try and go to that bank and uh, donate money to this account. We will publish this account details that you have given us and we'll make sure that a lot of money is raised into that account. I'm believing God I'll be able to get this 150,000 Naira and you will, as soon as you get that money, and please anybody who's donating money, if you can indicate that um, you, you, you got the money from, from us. We do our best, we donate money everywhere that we can. So we would um, we would donate our, our widow's might of, uh, uh let me say twenty thousand naira we'll send Thank it into you. your account Thank and you, then sir. uh i know it's not so much but you know we spread around you know me At least she can start she can we start spread yeah. this is just to kick it off if everybody who is watching us donates even if it's ten ten thousand naira five five thousand naira some of you can do hundred thousand some of you at least some of you who don't do everything we every day we get this thing we keep throwing it we throw in everywhere at least you people and when you go to when you go to these places where they don't tell you the truth you donate so much you throw money into the offering I don't yes, have any that those people buy those people buy private jet uh -huh. you see well at least you still donate money to people who buy private jet 
you can also donate money to people who are using it to help other people. And this lady, I know she's been doing a lot of work. So let us please try and help out. Um, having said that, I have, uh, I know you, you also have to run. I want you to tell us a little bit because that's another area that is confusing to people. The story about the building that collapsed. Okay, they have Yes. How he said how he said there was something that flew over the building and because that a lot of true. families that lost their that loved is not ones. True. People mm. lost their loved ones, but that case was just was just nothing was done. It was just crushed like that. Let, let me let me give you a scoop. Do you know that synagogue is locked down now? Yeah, and I was I was going to ask you to predict for us again what you see happening now that he's dead that place will turn to it will turn to forest Abby? the covenant is for fatai not for the people who live under him there are a lot of things that were buried there i know how sword bible somebody told me is on my youtube channel how they buried a pregnant woman the person said left at i said no that that's why i said i'm not mourning with them you understand how they bury he said he know where he did it if he said no they will bring in under camera and jiggers and it will it will, it will go there there are, you know we 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 see there are lots of visions and dreams and all that you know lo see the first video you will see on my on my youtube you will see a, a, an octogenarian who said fatai slept with her on that altar had sex with her on that altar so okay, we so are not talking about a child of god who hey, Mm -hmm. We are not talking about a Christian who has besetting sin. We are talking about a demonic entity, principality, who is bent to destroy humanity. Okay, before, before you tell us about that, the collapse of that beauty, why do you think that um, T.B. Joshua died and a lot of men of God are not See, weeping and crying and commenting and saying, oh my God, we've lost a, 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 a Why? As I said, you see that the place is sealed up. That place is not sealed by the government. Fatai locked the place down because spirits started tormenting people. Spirit, if you go online before you say they said that they saw angel there, it's not angel, it's spirits of men who are died there. When we were there as disciples, we 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 witnessed how disciples die. There was one day when my mind started changing. A man that I met in the synagogue who was so close to Fatai the man slumped and died and after they have taken the man to the morgue you know there were some of us that no matter what fata is doing in his office we can still have access there is a door behind but in front of his door in front of his office the door will be locked so because uh, i thought maybe i should go into mourn with him so i took the, the the other door in i saw this monster laughing and eating a bar i was he was in the you know he was sitting on his table i just put my hand and i was looking into it's a screen of tv but my mind was far away i said so if it were me that died life moved on in this place this cannot be god that was what came to my mind i said this cannot be god this okay, cannot be god quickly just tell us um about uh the that that the building the that collapsed collapse. and what you think will become of the synagogue now that See, uh, is, is gone 
I left synagogue February 8th, my second birthday, February 8th, 2008. And since February, you can go and check. Since February 8th, 2008, before then, Fatai goes to crusade in different countries. You understand? They come to call him. You know, I, of course, I've followed him to many. Indonesia, Singapore, South Korea, Ghana, you know, all those places. And there were others that have been laid out that we are going here, we are going Malaysia, we are going this, we are going that. When I left there, till the year that collapse happened, T.B. Joshua didn't travel outside this country. The the uh, the mystery I don't know, but what I want to say is that every disciple inside that synagogue, Fatai is using is hijacking something from them in order to, you know, to use for himself. Huh. Yes in order to use for himself so he doesn't take anybody under under him as disciples sometimes he, 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 he you know he, he just uh, he just runs he said many of you here you are glory of your family then why are you keeping them there why don't they uh, why don't you liberate them so that they can maybe they are the savior of the country maybe many of them are can be wives of governor they can they are they are they are changers of 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 communities maybe many of them could be they are destined to be president of this or that why are you keeping them it's keeping them using them He's keeping them selling, you know, these people are sole traders. It's in the Revelation 18. Some people, they sell, they deal in, in, in souls. Okay? If some president, all these big men that visit him, is like, I'm keeping chicken in my, in, in my yard. You know, abalists, they usually keep chickens. They usually keep animals. You understand so that when they want to do sacrifices they take them okay and also when attacks is coming at them instead of them he hit those people okay that's the reason many of these evil people they keep you know disciples all right so he said their glories of their family so i said Till 2014, he didn't travel until those yeah. house collapse and gateway was open for him. You see how many people he destroyed, how many people he sent to early grave. And when that collapse, when that uh, when that building collapse, is in public, you know, space. The synagogue closed the, the gate. They didn't allow air pass from outside to quickly, you know, you know, things can quickly, you know, people can quickly help so that more people can be saved. But they are looking for certain numbers. If they need 100 people to die and they rescue them, no sacrifice. So Number my question one. is, um, um, okay. Number two, yes. The people there, like the girl I that I'm talking about, she and another guy called Inkechi. Inkechi was living in U.S. and one time he had some issues, and he visited Nigeria, and somebody took him to synagogue. That was how he became trapped to use, to spend over 20 years in the synagogue. And uh, he stayed there. So during, before that collapse, they said some people visited Fatai, that they, they dressed weird. 
and it was Bosse and Inkechi who led them to this particular building that collapsed. And before then, there has been somebody who said it, she dreamt that that building will collapse. They said at that time, when, the first, when that person dreamt, they said they should evacuate people. Then, after some time, they returned people back into the building. And the, this same lady had another dream. And I was told that this Fatai said the lady is a witch, that they should arrange the lady at the emergency to be prayed for. After laying hands on her, they sent the lady home because uh, secret is being, you know, open. Then when these people came, they led them there. They said when they got there, the lady at her own time will come and say her own side of the, you know, what she witnessed because 26 years is not a joke. Let me, let me, when, let me, let me, when, hold on, hold, hold on, Mr. La, Mr. La, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know me, I don't, you are you and I'm me and I'm a very, very practical person. I, I enjoy, not enjoy, not enjoy. The things that you have told me, the, the Bible says we should test every spirit. The things that you have told me that happened when you were in the synagogue, I've, I've, you know, we've been, we've known each other for some time now. I've done some investigation, I've verified it. That's why I can continue to talk with you. Now we're talking about something that happened when you were not there and it's reported it's based on what people told you. I'm going to pass on that, okay? Because the story is out there. What I, I don't want, I don't want to put you on the spot. I want us to now talk about what will happen to the synagogue, knowing that you know the structure of the synagogue, you know the position he has with the wife or his family. What do you think will become of the synagogue now? Is there is there a structure for somebody to take over and see what? In the synagogue, everything centered around Fatai. In the kitchen, if they are going to the market to buy tomato and pepper, it has to pass through Fatai. That's how bad it is. So what do you think will there, happen now? There's no, there's no, uh, nothing, no structure on ground. If somebody who has stayed in the synagogue 20, 25 years, he's saying that he has no Holy Spirit, only Fatai has. So when some, when a, 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 maybe journalists or media people go to the synagogue and they want to interview you, you they have to pass through Fatai. And before you get there, it's like they have to invite you into Fatai office to tell you what you need to say. And while you are saying it, uh people will be planted around you if you say something else apart from what uh you have you have instructed to say i remember a girl uh josephine her name is josephine an half caste you know fatai pick her up and said she's she's practicing witchcraft and the mother because the mother was uh a single parent the mother was happy that okay um uh, prophet take her and the lady has been in the synagogue for many years fatai sleeping with her committing abortions and it come to a time the woman started pestering fatai say your children has gone to the best school in life can you please allow my child to come home so that she can go to school what you discuss with me is that my child will go to school then the fatai said over his dead body then the woman started shouting she you know some people took her to newspaper houses and they put it on in newspaper then uh fatai called in some you know all his uh cheap uh journalists and say come and come and uh, come and interview the girl so that you can go and go against the words of the mother 
when uh, the journalist sat in in conference room, one of the journalists that contacted me say, "I knew that something is fishy because." we wanted the girl to come but it took us two hours before the girl entered into the conference room they gave them food they gave them drink we are not here for food and drink we want to interview this girl but i know the girl was inside fatai's office they were training her what to say don't say you commit her, but don't say anybody sleep with you. Don't say, you know, tell them you are happy. I was watching Jim Jones' uh, movie, you know. Tell them you are happy here. Tell them your mother is a prostitute. Tell them your mother wants to sell you to a big man. And you don't want to commit bad life. That's why you want to stay in church. But at the end of the day, the girl has run away from the synagogue. If she's happy, truly happy there, they went to one of the uh, country in, uh, uh, what do you call it, this, uh, this um, Latin America. And when they came, the girl took cab and ran away. Somebody, some people are asking. Um, Fatai, it's Timmy no. Joshua. <laughs> you know when you keep saying Fatai, they don't know that it's Timmy Joshua you're talking about. But yeah, anyway, Fatai is his name, his real name. Some people are asking that you should bring the woman and her daughter. Um, what I want to say is that a lot of people, you can imagine the trauma that they have gone through. It's not easy to talk about these things. So this job we do is not easy. So it's not everybody that can just come. God has to give you the grace to come and talk about your past experience. People have moved on. It's an experience they wish they could wipe away. So That's right, may, right. yes, they don't want to talk about these things because right. what, what will happen? Well, the person is not going to be to be arrested. And but God has a way of settling issues. Now the person is no more. I'm not saying I know why, but sometimes they look at it and they moved on. They just want to fix their life. But um, if you are able, uh, 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 my sister, if you are able to bring them to your show, if they want to talk about it, people are requesting that you bring her. Yeah, many uh, of, before, before Fatai died, many of them don't want to come nearer yeah. to me. But in this space of time, a lot of people are contacting me. They said they were afraid. Okay? They said yeah. they were afraid. So many of them, they said they want to get their sanity back. I didn't get my sanity back before I started talking. I just know that this thing should, this thing is wrong. It should not happen. This thing let is me, wrong. Let, it shouldn't happen to another person. Let me tell you one experience I also have in dealing with this issue. I remember when we were talking about a man of God who was regarded as very powerful. He, I mean, where am I? I don't like to talk in parables. When we're talking about the... Uh, uh, what's his name? Apostle Apostle John Suleiman. Apostle John, John Suleiman. He sent people to send people to me here. People threatened me and all of those things. The people who were victims, his victims. There was one of them that called us from outside uh, the country. I think it was Italy or France. One of we got so many calls. They were so afraid. One lady said no that the spirit is following him, that he, they've so brainwashed these people and the kind of kind of uh, power they have over them, which is not even spiritual, it's just like hypnotizing them. The lady says that if she says anything, that he will know, that she knows very well that he will know. This lady, there was one that called us, I prayed with her, I said, once I finished praying with you, and I, I need you to open your mouth and speak. He said, if she speaks, she will die. I, I said, I'll pray for you and nothing will happen to you. We finished praying and the lady spoke. And after she spoke and she lifted, she said a heavy load was lifted from her chest. She was, she had suicidal thoughts and all of those. But just speaking to us, she didn't want to come on TV. She didn't want to come live. But she said, when she saw the story we were doing, she needed to just let it off her chest and now that she has done it she has freedom so my advice to people who have gone through this kind of trauma who are facing this call someone talk about it nothing will happen to you there is no covenant these people are not as powerful as you make them they are just scammers that's let all me, they are let, 
sorry, That's sorry. Uh, let me let me say something. Let me quickly address one Joe Edison. Who told you Fatai do not have private jets? He has private jets, okay? And he, he has, you know, states of art uh, cars. He has lot of he has lot of he has lot of speed boats. He has, you know, what what do they call all these cars? Big big cars. So please don't be deceived. You know, many of you, you are. I, I don't want to use bad word on this platform. No, 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 no. The only thing is, the only thing is, you should go back. And the reason why we are doing this is there are people who learn from other people's experience, but there are people who want to have the experience by themselves. No problem, whichever one you choose to. When you have the, the the experience by yourself, my prayer is that you will survive because someone lot... someone said Fata is quiet. Fata is quiet. If you listen to my guest yesterday, he came out clean. How Fata used them to be to 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 be uh, to be terrorizing me. I see. I just got to this apartment like uh, maybe it's not even it's not even up to, it's two months plus. You know, I moved from one apartment to an another apartment. Fatai send his people out to be to be looking for me in order to kill me. There is a girl in Florida. I will put her up and I will ask her, even if you are not going to show your face, I want you to send me a voice note. She said she was inside Fatai's office. When Fatai instructed some people she doesn't know that anywhere you see her, beat her and kill her. That one, that one is even small things. People have called me. Someone called me and they said they were having problems. And that, please, um, the reason why he's contacting me is that when all of these things was happening, he was part of the media. They were the ones that were, they were doing things, twisting the stories, that uh, I'm publishing it. But uh, he wants me to do his story. He wants me to take it because now they've quarreled. He wants me to take his story. I said, no, 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 no. It's not for sensation. You don't see us doing it, it every day. No, Once no, God, there is a reason why God got you involved in a case. If if God has not called you to be part of a case, you can't go around and just looking for cases to just do. No, 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 no. So many pastors are misbehaving. So many men of God are misbehaving. That's not my calling. I was I, I didn't get I got involved with the ones that we got involved by by accident, by God's define uh, 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 arrangement so that one you will know clearly and when you do it god will help you god will back you up and you'll come out of it clean anyway we've talked enough i need to let you go thank you so really very awesome. much i need you we, to... haven't said, we haven't said anything that, there's so much i i just wanted people to know that someone like you exists and that uh, it is important and to and, and see uh, two months ago, I I said Fatai has been sick. They said I am lying. You know, oh, yeah. and you see what happened. Fatai has been sick like since last year. Even if you see his face, you know that heart, kidney, liver, you know. And do you know that Fatai has been looking for a way in order to shift that thing into people so that he can buy time. He has been buying time. Uh, you know, my, my sister, like I said, when the thing enters that spiritual realm, right, you know, just leave me out of it. When it enters, just do No, my own is the practical one I see. Uh, you people you people are deeper than me. I'll leave that deeper. <laughs> I'll leave that deeper part for you people. All right. Don't worry. But, God, God is taking us deeper. God amen. Is amen, us deeper. amen. That is why, you know, uh, a demon like Fatai cannot hurt us. He has, no, he, has no, announced, no. he has announced my death in the synagogue. Okay. Visitors, visitors, when they saw me, they said, ah, they, they said, Fatai said you are dead. Because he was sure. The people who bury people's pictures under the sand. Hmm. Uh, see, see. It's okay. I remember somebody also called somebody married spirit and said they would die. That person is still living today. So, oh, so okay. all of those things, okay? But thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you. Uh, it's I a really very timely you, period. And uh, I don't want you to stop doing what you're doing. I'm not so at relieved. All. Not at I'm all. so not relieved at all. that I know all the, all the hiding you were hiding. 
from one place to another. I know there are also there are people like you can see some people still commenting. They are die hard, die hard fans who will still continue to fight on his behalf. God will continue to protect us from people like that. Okay. Um, thank you. Yes. Yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, next time when I have a when I call you, please answer my call i know i know it takes it takes it's difficult to catch you now <laughs> uh, somebody say what's my name i'm evangelist bisola Ziba johnson yes yes, yes. Your, your name is there on the screen now evangelist bisola Ziba johnson and please i'm going to type the one that's important I somebody want, you guys... want to call in somebody want to call in you want to call in I, yes I doctor a... are you going somewhere Yes, I have a program. Ah, okay, but okay. no, no, no more. It's okay, okay it's don't okay. worry. Please, please, those people that want to call in, can you meet me on Sunday, 4 p.m.? Exactly. Okay, you know phone what? Phone. You know what? Don't worry. Yes. Let's take one call. Let's take one call. Who do you okay. want them to call? You want them to call me or you want them to call you? No, no, no. It's general. They should call you. Okay, so call on... Uh, on, uh, but we have to just take that one call and we'll close because I have another interview with Omoye Lechore. So, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, plus one six four seven nine eight nine two eight three seven. That's the number that you can call. You can call that number and we'll take your question. And also, don't forget to please make your donation to GT Bank, GT Bank, uh, so we can help the lady that she's trying to raise hundred and fifty thousand for. Um, GT Bank zero. Five five uh, six two one six six two zero. Okay, there are some people that you go and give your tithe and they don't do anything with it. This is a better way to spend your money. So That's please, right. yeah, send this right. money. It's going to help a lady. So uh, I've just shared it uh, there. Uh, those of you on 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 YouTube, I hope you. Uh, maybe Dr. Erica can share it with those oh, of you. Bisola Johnson Foundation. Oh, you look for Bisola Johnson Foundation. Bisola Johnson Foundation. It's important so we can help uh, what she is doing. Uh, uh, please, is your, your book is on, on Amazon too, Abby. Yeah, my book is on Amazon. If okay. you are in Lagos, you can go to Trem Bookshop. Okay, we have the call. We have the yes. call coming. We have the call yes. coming. Let's take All it. All right. Time. Okay. Okay. Call on the line. Tell us your name and where you're calling from, and then uh, what questions you have. No, no, I can't hear you. You need to raise your voice. Hello. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. My name is Tristan. Calling from Tumidi. so much oh yes oh yes okay yeah Chooks, i see Chooks, what i will tell you is just go back go back and do a little bit more research that's all i can tell you don't believe what i'm don't believe what she's saying but just go back and do a research go at, at least you're you're an intelligent person if she gives dates oh, yeah, she gives, go and do that research for yourself okay but thank you so much for calling okay i appreciate yeah, you appreciate and go make sure you go have you subscribed to her channel go to her channel now and subscribe please go now go now go now go now go now please go now and, uh, okay so, so let's start for interview 
is um uh, 2 p that's 7 p.m nigerian time 7 p.m nigerian time okay let's take one more person thank you so much Paula, okay. and we'll, we'll just take another person now there's okay. one my girl my girl that wants to call okay someone is calling right now go ahead okay. you're calling from uk tell us your name and where you're calling from yes uh, my brother my name is charles uh, go ahead charles yes um i was born right on the coming box uh, you know the problem our people have is they are not investigating nature and it's very difficult for them to comprehend the truth and even when somebody wants to liberate them from their oppressors they they because they, they've been so indoctrinated and they attach this their emotion on even, even the person who's suppressing them. Now, this woman, uh, I've known her for, for many years, and her stories never change. It's only in Nigeria or in Africa that when you invite people, especially political leaders or these so called men of course, they do nothing to clean their, their, their indictments or any allegations. Nothing is absolute. And then they, they, they make cases as if they do not know that somebody has indicted them. If they don't try that over or in this way, they develop fault. TP Joshua did not respond to this woman because this woman was so connected to him when he was alive. This woman was so connected. And you know our people, some of them want to say this woman is lying. I can't be outside a house. I know nothing about what is in the house, the rules. And there is somebody who has been in the room telling me what is in the room. And I'll say, no, she's lying. And I've not been inside the room. Even if I've come inside the room, in the case of uh, TV, maybe I've not gone to his church. Maybe somebody has gone into his church and stayed in the room. And this is the person who served in the capacity of a permanent secretary. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Who have worked with them for many years. I know, I know, I know, I know. That all of a sudden, everything this woman is saying is lies, fallacy, is, uh, is, 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 is propaganda. No, no, it's not possible. The person who has been indicted did not say no. It's because this man's allegation went zero. Now, come to think about it. This church of uh, synagogue church collapsed many times and killed quantum of human. Now, in a country, if the law is viable, there should have been a certain there should have been persecution. Let me tell you something. There's something you said that I want to correct. You said these people yeah. they don't do anything about their indictments. You are wrong. They do something. Immediately you indict them. They use their money. They Connection. bribe. They bribe, they buy their way, so they do something about it. Of course, I believe. But, you know, of course, I had Sola indicted his father. He should have, no, 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 no. The indictment was very serious. Wrote a novel about it. He should have taken her to court. But the reason why he will not take her to court is that that will open a bigger can of worms. All through the, it would have been an interesting hearing. It, oh, it would have been. Huh? <laughs> yeah. In a place where millions, I mean, hundreds of people died, not once, not twice, in the church of the children. And there is no sort of any, any, uh, any uh, uh, litigation against even the contractor or even of the church. And now one person died, and somebody is saying the truth about that person. You forgot hundreds of people. Died who belong to their family who were born by a woman who died under this man because they have to come there and speak for God. Who says tells nobody that who tells anybody that you can't say you for God? When pandemic was there, do any of the pastors know what's going on? As I was running the altar together, they were also running the altar together. But because we have been able to identify where the source was coming up. They also came out with their noise. I call them task collectors, especially the ones in Africa. You understand? And if I want anyone that can tell me why are these men not coming here, make their head up. 
coming to this part of the world to make their head on. Because they know people who are so vulnerable in Africa where they can use them. Call it. Thank you, thank you, my brother. I need to, I need to. Yeah, just round up, just round up because I, I, I need to. Yeah. Now, everybody who knows synagogue of all nations should ask his or herself why the, the tradition of coming back. That flag identifies you. And if you carry the American flag, you come to priority. And they will have to interview you and get exactly why you come. And then keep it in the flag. We use the information. That's all. I think I, I think you know I think you know there are some things that there are some things that I think you self know. So I think you should contact me and contact uh, <laughs> Mr. Bisola. Of course, of course. Every other thing that I've, I've explained those I've posted on my wall. I say person like Christian John of America, if he was in Nigeria, what should have happened? He would have had even the two hundred two hundred thousand capacity. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm calling spiritual. Don't worry, my brother. Thank, thank you for thank you for calling. Okay, I have just a few minutes before I, I switch over to my next one. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Contact our sister too. Contact our sister. Those people, those people, they should go to they should go to high courts where there is a case against TB Joshua. Three girls of the same father, the same mother. He 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 violated them. The mother was shocked. He said, I brought my children when they were under age, under you. They have spent like five years, seven years, and they have become women. And the children started talking. Anytime we go to South Africa, we, we went there for abortions. May God forgive you, Joe Edison, or whoever that is saying we are lying. It's okay. It's okay. There'll be there'll be more. There'll be more. These are the kind of people that I would like to challenge and then let them come and say uh why they think it's a lie. Okay. But thank you so much, my dear sister. I appreciate you. you. I really let me appreciate let you go. And I I I honestly am honored by the fact that I called you and you answered me at short notices. God bless you, okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah.